Right, so here we are, welcome back to Extra Time, in uh, the rest and relaxation area of the press area, where you can have delightful selections of fruits, sultanas, oranges, raisins, apples, nuts, apricots, and uh, it's very nice. So we're just going to get ourselves served. She's very generous helping there. Still getting served? Thank you, thank you. Right, let's go and see if anyone wants to join my food over here. Oh my, oh, hi guys! Hi, what a surprise, I've got food, do you want to join? There you go, help yourselves. Right, so here we are then. We have, on my right, for extra time tonight, a summary of today's proceedings. We have Emma Backfish, our own editor. Hello. And on my left, well, academic. From DrEurovision.com, it's Dr. Paul Jordan. Hello. Hello. Right, very quickly, let's go straight in to this morning's rehearsals. We started with Serbia. We've seen him before. He's never won. Is he going to win this year, Dr. Jordan? No, I think it's unlikely. It's not as instant as his first song in 2004. Very good. Very direct. Emma, we were followed by Calliope from FYR Macedonia. They've not qualified now for some time. Is she in with a shout? I think this is definitely in with a shout, especially because of her shout that she does in that song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she has a fine pair of lungs, this girl. We then move on to a song that I think is going to score quite well back home, isn't it? This one, it's the Netherlands. And it's such an endearing song. It's very well performed. It's very sweet. And if there's any justice, Netherlands will qualify for the first time in quite a long while. Quite a long while. Okay, that was Indiana Joan from the Netherlands today. Everyone liking that. And then Malta. Emma. Yeah, well, this has everything, the kitchen sink in it, everything just thrown in, but he has a nice face, so it's still not qualifying. <laughs> still not qualifying, Malta? I think it might surprise people. It's quite well performed, and it's quite catchy in the old reprise, so I don't know, it might surprise people. Okay, split decision on Malta. And then we moved on to light sounds. <laughs> would you? Would you? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I would. <laughs> it's going through. <laughs> going through? Yes. Qualifier? Um, I don't think so. Perhaps maybe, Emma, you're uh, being swayed by the good looks of the singers, perhaps? Or am I being cynical? It's okay, but I don't think it's qualifying. Okay, then we moved on to something completely different. Portugal. They're giving us something Portuguese. Is the rest of Europe going to get this, Dr. Jordan? Unlikely. I don't think Portugal are going to qualify. After all these years, they've still not quite got Eurovision, and I think they've come up with a few strong entries, and then they're back to their old, you know, back to square one, really. Back to square one for Portugal. As you can hear in the background, a little bit of Bulgaria going on again. Um, Ukraine. Now, I know you both want to talk about Gaetana. Yes. Emma, Gaetana. I'm gay for Gaetana, and that's all I have to say about that. She gave me chills in the arena, and I love her. It's going through without a doubt. But is it a little bit messy? I think so. I mean, she has the voice of the contest. She's absolutely brilliant. It's effortless, it's powerful, but it's just a bit busy. There's the dancers with big outfits, there's backdrops, there's dancing, and it seems to just be a little bit over-egged. The pudding has been over-egged. But you have got Gaetana on your chest. I am indeed, and I'm hoping to get a photo with her later on. Okay, Ben Morris's mini pops, always good. And finally, with the sound we have in our back, uh, back of our ears already, Bulgaria. Now, leopard skin, Emma. <laughs> Never went away in Bulgaria, apparently. Well, I'm just very upset because she clearly stole my outfit from my closet. I'm, I, I don't want her to qualify because of that. Do you have anything like that in your closet, Jordan? Um, I have a few off-the-shoulder numbers, but um, she's also got a camel toe. I'm not sure if you can say that, but... <laughs> <laughs> Is it qualifying? No. No to Bulgaria. So, in summary today, good day, bad day. Mixed. I think this is the stronger of the second, the se second semi final is the stronger of the two. I think the strong ones are coming tomorrow and that'll be a good day. Okay, and Baku, in general, impressed? Yes, it's surprising. It's a little bit like a building site though, because there's so much going on and there's so much building work going on across the city, not just at Eurovision, but yeah, impressed so far. It's quite a nice, friendly place. Uh, Emma, this time last week, you still weren't coming, were you? No. Because you didn't get your visa until about Wednesday evening and then jumped on a plane. Are you glad to be here? Yes, I am glad to be here at this time last week. I did not know if I would be here. So this is, it's very good that I'm here and enjoying Baku. 
Well, that was today. It was a shorter day today because Slovenia was drawn in the second half, even though they're performing number nine because of a withdrawal by a country. And so we only have eight today. We'll have ten of you tomorrow, and we'll also have a look back at who people think are going to qualify. So thank you very much for being with us. Thank you, Dr. Jordan. You're more than welcome. Thank you, Emma. Thank you very much. Without academic title. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow on Extra Time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.